Hey guys, welcome back to The Wandering Wind. First of all, the bruises from me sleeping on my face last night. Evidently, something or other was pressing up against that spot and made it bruise. It is not virus related and I don't have to worry about it. Anyway, moving forward, I want to talk about the coronavirus and about the situation that's going on right now. First of all, I want you to remember one thing. Stay calm, please. Panic will not help anything and will not make the situation any better. In fact, panic will actually lower your immune system, lower your body's ability to fight any infections, whether they be corona or not, that come about, and will ultimately just make your life worse by degrees either way. Panicking, being upset, being overly emotionally stressed will not help you at all in this situation. Calm and organized thinking and planning will. I myself am taking precautions to keep myself safe with the disease being where it's at at this point in the U.S. Knowing that something is there and being able to control at least part of the factors that might have it come to your doorstep is really going to help a lot of us, including you, feel a bit more in control and a bit less anxious about the situation as a whole. When you're able to mo when you're able to visualize and also conceptualize what steps you need to take to stay safe, it helps you to not only know what needs to happen, but also how safe am I and am I okay? The answer to both of those questions is you're very safe as long as you take precautions and yes, you are okay and you will be okay as long as you take proper measures. Now, I'm not saying that this is the end all be all, but here are a few suggestions for how to stay safe. Number one, wash your hands and face frequently. Wash your face first and then wash your hands second. The reason why is, well, now wash your hands first and then again after you wash your face. The reason why is it will remove your face of any potential contaminants or bugs that may already be on there. And it will also help your hands stay clean so that when you go out into the world and you have to touch doorknobs and stuff because that's something that's going to be unavoidable unless we all use plastic gloves for everything and then that's going to end up being another thing that's out of the stores. But it's going to keep you safe on that level. Number two with that is you need to remember that soap and water are your friends. Yes, hand sanitizer works in a pinch, but it has been scientifically proven that hand sanitizer is not the end-all be-all replacement for good old soap and water. If you have it at home, if you have it available in a restroom or wherever, use it. Because nine times out of ten, the hand sanitizer isn't going to kill everything, and so you're still going to end up needing to get rid of germs even after rubbing some alcohol rub in. There is a, a lot of information I've heard from many doctors. Thirdly, do not start panic buying things that you don't need. Case in point, here recently I've been hearing about many different stores across the U.S. running out of toilet paper because people are going out and buying it like it's going out of style. The, the shipments from the stores cannot keep up with the supply and demand of the customers, and it's really showing our local Walmart just imposed a two-pack rule for the large packs of, of toilet paper that you can only get two packs of those per customer or even per family. That is quite distressing and quite frustrating that we have to do that, but the biggest importance is that we do not panic. That being said, for those of you that are still running low on toilet paper and do not have a way to actually um, get toilet paper, 
there are other options. There are things called bidets, which have been huge in the rest of the world, not so much here in the U.S., but there are bidets that you can get that will be shipped to you quite fast and are easy to set up. I will leave a few links to a few different ones on Amazon down below. You can find them and you can probably buy them or you can go find your own model. It doesn't matter. That can just be a starting point for you. Either way, I do appreciate you trying to take care of yourself because this is the most important thing you can do for you. With that being said, don't forget to care for your mental health as well. Distract yourself from the news. If you need to, turn the news off during the day or during the night because the last thing you need is a panic attack that can take you from eh to bottoming out on the I'm okay, for, I'm okay spectrum and really giving you the worst time of your life. Stress kills. It not only kills by giving your immune system more to do in order to keep yourself safe, but it can also cause other issues as well, like strokes, heart attacks. We don't need that. We don't need that, especially in the older generation or even in my generation. Come on. I'm almost 30. This is pretty, this is pretty basic stuff. Stress isn't good. So please, I know it's hard. I know you're going to say, oh, well, duh, but please don't stress, okay? Don't live your life as if today is your last day. I mean, yes, make the most of every moment, sir, but don't live in constant fear. Fear is the mind killer that will end us all before we're even dead. Fear is the thing that will make us freeze in moments where we can be so much more than just an individual person, but an example to all of humanity of what we can do for each other. And on that note, lastly, don't forget to help one another if you can. If there is someone out there that you know, whether they be a neighbor, a friend, a family member, a co-worker, whatever, if they're having issues, if they need help, don't be afraid to provide your assistance as best as you can. Because in this day and age, we're going to need each other more than ever. We're not going to be able to just rely on ourselves because this could last a while, not years. We're not looking at years right now. We're looking at months, maybe a year if things get really bad. We're not looking at multiple years. We're not looking at anything long term. We're looking at the short term, six months, everything hopefully is taken care of and the majority of the virus is wiped out. But until then, we need to remember that we are a human race. Not me, not I, we. So we need to remember to take care of one another within reason. Yes, take care of yourselves first. Don't give away everything you have. But if you see someone that needs help, and you can provide even a small amount for that, do that. Because frankly, there are so many people out there that are so blessed to have so much that give back to others in great ways. And I'm proud of those people. And I want us to come together and do that collectively for each other. It doesn't have to be grand gestures of monetary donations to charities or anything like that. It can be as simple as helping a friend through a stressful time, taking the time to actually tell them, hey, I care. I'm here for you. You don't have to be going through this alone. Or it can even be, <laughs> if we ever get back to being able to do that, buying a roll of toilet paper for someone or sharing a roll or whatever. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant. It just has to come from the heart. So do that. Take care of yourselves. Stay healthy, stay hygienic, wash your hands, wash your face, wash everything when you need to. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, and please don't worry. Things are going to happen, but at the end of the day, we've gotten through a lot more than just this as far as pandemics and epidemics. Remember polio? Remember, remember SARS? Remember the others? 
we survived them for the most part. Yes, they killed people. That's always going to be a problem. Don't forget to care for the 20% that are going to be affected the most by this. 80% are going to be fine. 20% are, are probably going to be worse off. Don't forget to take care of those people too. Thank you for watching. And I hope you found this message encouraging, uplifting, and hopefully a nice breath of fresh air within the stagnant, stale air that is the majority of the doom and gloom news. <laughs> Thank you for watching and have a wonderful evening. I love you very much.